What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video where today we're going to be modding the NES Classic and putting Manito's TC Pixel Mario ROM hack on this. So it shouldn't be too difficult. For those who don't know, you can mod the NES Classic Edition and you can put more games on it past the 30 game limit. Also you can run other emulators on this too, you know, get more than just NES out of it. But for this video, we're just going to put Minito's ROM hack on there and uh, play it natively. So, let's do it guys! So modding the NES Classic Edition is really not that hard. You just get a program on the computer and you have to press a series of buttons with your NES Classic Edition connected to the computer via USB. And then you will enter a mode where you can then interact with the NES Mini. HackT is seriously a simple application to use and it's seriously easy to get your NES Classic Edition connected to your PC so that you can actually dump your games and actually put new games on there as well. It's going to dump the kernel as soon as you get everything set up and then adding games is as easy as just hitting add more games and finding your NES ROM files. So I've got a couple ROM hacks and a homebrew here. If we look on the right hand side, we actually have a couple fields where we can change properties of the ROMs that are going to appear on the NES Classic Edition, such as the name of the actual game, how many players are available in the game, the date, the publisher, some custom commands, you can even put in Game Genie codes, and you can even put in custom box art. Once you've got your games ready, hit synchronize, and then hit yes. It's going to start flashing and uploading the kernel to your NES Classic Edition. Just give it some time. It takes a few moments. And once it's done, now you can actually put your games onto the actual NES Classic Edition and it'll actually start doing that automatically for you. Done. Wow. Incredible. Are there actual new games on this NES Classic Edition? We're gonna find out. Ooh, nothing yet. We're gonna investigate a little further here. Let's check this out. looks really good. This is super duper cool. If you're wanting to put more games onto your NES Classic Edition, it is super duper easy. All you need is your NES Classic Edition and a computer and the wires that it comes with. And if you have any basic knowledge on how to compute, this is super duper easy to accomplish. Playing something like Super TC Pixel, it just feels good on this NES Classic Edition because the NES Classic Edition really has a really good emulator in it and it renders the graphics beautifully. And it's very accurate at that too with bright colors and several different filter options as well. It's pretty nice. Multiplayer is also optional and is something that works on the NES Classic Edition. Playing TC Pixel and Legend of Zelda was actually super cool to see on the NES Classic Edition. And I just gotta say that the remote for the, uh, the Classic Edition just feels really, really good in the hands. The buttons are perfectly clicky. The D-pad is nice and silky smooth. It's just a wonderful controller to hold and play. And you can expand the NES Classic Edition's mods by getting Retro Arch and being able to get stuff like N64 emulators and SNES emulators. But that's beyond what this video really is is, but it's just cool to be able to see fan games being played on the NES Classic Edition and being played so well. Thank you Manito for making all of these ROM hacks, they're beautiful, they're wonderful, I love them. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video, please like it up, subscribe it up, peace out.